In 2005, Brigham Young University physics professor Stephen Jones wrote a detailed paper explaining his theory that World Trade Center 7 was brought down by controlled demolition. In an interview that was done by Tucker Carlson on MSNBC interviewing Professor Jones, during the interview the professor tries to explain what really happened to Building 7 but Tucker keeps trying to change the subject. Even though, there is actual footage of the building being brought down, from at least three different angles Stephen Jones had brought a demonstration clip with him to be played along while explaining his theory. But as you will see, it was never aired. Welcome back. Millions of people watched the horror of 9-11 right before their very eyes, live on television. Two planes crashing into the World Trade Center, and less than a couple of hours later, both towers, of course, collapsing. My next guest says that hijackers may not have brought down the towers by themselves. Here to explain his controversial theory, Stephen Jones. He's a professor of physics at Brigham Young University in Provo, Utah. Professor Jones, thanks for coming on. Sure, thanks, Tucker. Vi well, just Glad sum up this, here. obviously, your uh, theory, just the, the one sentence uh, that I just explained uh, in the intro, contradicts what we all think we know about how these towers collapsed. Quickly sum up your explanation for what <clears> happened. <throat> Well, I'd like to start with uh, uh, this paper that you refer to. It's available online. What, what I'm doing, uh, Tucker, is presenting evidence, for, but it's a hypothesis to be tested. Uh, that's a big difference from a conclusion. Uh, and so I just wanted to clarify that. But to sum up, uh, I, I've looked at the uh, official reports by FEMA and so on uh, yes. regarding the collapse of, yeah, of these buildings. Right. I'd like to look at the collapse of Building 7 in just a minute. Uh, it was not even hit by a jet, okay, so we but, should but look the, at that. The two towers, the, the explanation has been that the fire inside was so intense that it weakened the structural steel and that each floor collapsed down upon the next in a pancake fashion and they imploded in on themselves. Is that essentially, I think, what people think? Uh, yeah, that's basically it, yeah. And so uh, uh, what I've done is to analyze uh, these reports it, but I would like to do a little experiment with you, Tucker, if I could. I sent out a, uh, a video clip of the collapse of Building 7, because most people haven't actually seen that one, and that's the, that's the crux of the argument okay. that I'm well, presenting. Well, can you sum up very quickly the argument for us? You believe there were explosives in the buildings planted by someone, detonated? Well, yeah. Is that correct? In other words, the, hy the hypothesis to be tested is... Uh, there's two hypotheses here. One is fire and damage caused the, all three buildings to collapse. Okay. The other is that explosives in the buildings uh, may have caused the collapse. And so then we analyze and see which fits the data better. And I've done that in my 25-page uh, uh, paper. I want to read you a quote from the Deseret Morning News, a paper in Utah mm -hmm. from you. I'm quoting now. It is quite plausible that explosives were pre-planted in all three buildings and set off after the two plane crashes, which were actually a diversion tactic. Muslims are probably right. not to blame for bringing down the World Trade Center buildings after all. That's, yeah. I would think, so, pretty offensive to a lot of people listening. Do you have any evidence for that? I mean, well, uh, uh, not, not to the Muslims, I might say. <laughs> well, that's a good <laughs> I've had a lot of emails. I'm, I'm sure, yeah, yeah, I'm sure your, yeah. your writings have been greeted with glee in Islamabad and Peshawar and places like that. But for Americans, it... Well, I haven't received any notes from there, but uh, just good people. Uh, I have uh, uh, Muslim friends. Let, let me read, for example, but I'm, I'm not going to let you off the hook. I really want to do this experiment okay. with you well, to we look don't, at We don't have a lot of time for experiments, uh, Professor, but if you could just well, uh, just give us one thing to hold on to. How uh, You make this, these claims or appear to make these claims. Do you have any evidence that, that, that there Tucker, were bombs in the building? The, sure, sure. Let's start with the uh, collapse of Building 7. Can you roll the video clip that I sent to you? Okay, I'm not sure if we that, can, but to specify, that is World Trade Center building number let's seven. Let's try it. Smaller than the other two was not hit uh, by a plane, of course, yet it collapsed. Right. right, it's 47 stories. That's right. 24 oh. steel columns in the center. Right. Uh, trusses uh, asymmetrically uh, supported. Now, do you, I can't see what you're seeing, so we, we just, are you we rolling just see that? The, no, we just see the building. And the, just so our viewers know, the explanation that I think is conventional is that there was a large tank of diesel fuel stored in the lower level of that, which mm -hmm. caught fire, and uh, the resulting right. fire collapsed the building. 
Well, that's uh, basically it. Yeah, no, uh, but uh, as we read in the FEMA report, it says here, and I put this in my paper, of course, the best hypothesis, which is the only one they looked at, the fire, has only a low probability of occurrence. Further investigation, invest, uh, analyses are needed to resolve this issue, and I agree with that. Okay. But they admit there's only a low probability. And if you look at the collapse, you see uh, what I've studied is the fall time, the symmetry, the fact that it first uh, dips in the middle, that's called the kink, which is uh, very characteristic, of course, All right. of uh, uh, controlled pro pro demolition. Pro professor, I am sorry that we are out of time, and I, I'm not sure that Whoa. Uh, you've uh, One other thing I want to mention okay, about... Okay, if you can hit it uh, okay. just with a quick All one. Right. There, there, okay, here we go. Molten metal in the basements of all three buildings. Right. And yet uh, all scientists now uh, uh, reasonably uh, agree that the fires were not sufficiently hot to melt the steel. So what is this molten metal? It's a direct evidence for the use of uh, high temperature explosives such as thermite. Thermite produces uh, molten iron as, a, as an end product. Okay. So well, I, we, I... we do have... Uh, yeah, it's very short time, but people will read the paper, then I talk about the molten metal, the oh. symmetry of the collapse, and the weaknesses and inadequacies of the fire okay. hypothesis. Uh, Professor, we're going to have to leave it to our viewers who are interested enough to follow up to do just that. We appreciate your coming on, even okay. if I don't understand right. your theories. Okay. Uh, we appreciate you trying to explain them. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Tucker. Thanks. It should be noted that no mention of a large tank of diesel fuel stored in the lower level of World Trade Center Building 7 was made in the 9-11 Commission report. In fact, there is not even a single mention of the collapse of World Trade Center 7 in the entire report.